What's going on guys, Vic VP here, not with another Game Case Arcades video, but something a little bit different on this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Project Smart. So now real quick, this channel will still be about gaming and arcades, but if you haven't noticed, I've been a little bit MIA because, well, we are in me and my wife's new house. And basically what we're doing in this house, a little bit of a new series. I'm all like tongue twisted even just trying to explain it because I'm just so excited. But basically we are not changing the platform. We're not changing the whole way of videos. We're still gonna be talking about arcades and we're still gonna be talking about gaming. But basically we are gonna add a little bit of an extra element. Uh, we are going into tech. I am a tech freak. So we right now are gonna go into a little bit of a smart home category on the channel. Now again, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I have been MIA a little bit as far as making videos and kind of building arcades because again, we do have a very big project as far as me and my wife and my brother. Again, our new home. I couldn't keep it the way it was. You know I had to go all out with it and obviously we are making it a smart home. Now I do have a lot of planning. There's a lot of ideas, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of tech in the house. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. It's so much tech in this house. If you've seen me on Instagram, you're gonna see a lot of like little, you know, my Instagram stories. You'll see a lot of videos that I've been posting about this house and all the work that we've been doing. Now I figured that we could bring it out to the YouTube boys and just kind of show off what exactly is the vision that I have and how we're gonna pull it off. The reason I'm gonna be making this is because honestly, there's so much tech out there and there's so many ideas and there's so many ways of doing things. Um, the hardest part about me was that there's so many things and so many options that there's not that many videos or reviews on these certain things, especially when we're talking about smart home tech. So consider this as, as a couple of review videos coming along, a couple of ideas that maybe I could introduce to you as far as if you wanted to do your house or if you want to customize something in your house. But all in all, this video will be the introduction to the first ever Project Smart series. Now again, I've been calling it Project Smart. Uh, you know, it's just something that just pops in my mind because I do want a smart home. Everybody now in this age does want a smart home and that's why I'm calling it Project Smart. I just want this house to be as smart as can be, meaning I want it to control on my phone, I want to control everything on my phone, and control everything as far as tablets, TVs, the lights, the doorbell, you know, basic smart home tech that everybody wants, but some people might be afraid to step foot into that kind of challenge or into that type of space. So again, we can take this first episode that we're doing real quick right now again. I just kind of woke up, just got out of work, and I said, you know what? I want to make this video, and I kind of want to start off this video and just try to get this series started because now the ball is actually rolling. Quick backstory to this house. Okay, me and my wife got married in February. We got the keys, I believe, in April. Um, went on our honeymoon had a little bit of a flooding accident going on, which then resulted in some of the house having to be taken down for repair. So with that in mind, we said, you know what, since some of the house is being in repair and some stuff is, you know, water damage, I can now really proceed with my full smart home transformation. Now, again, in the beginning of this video, I said that you might be able to take some of these ideas and incorporate it into your own house and all that. Just keep in mind that there is some stuff that's going on in this house that might not be doable at your house. The biggest thing that I wanted obviously is smart switches. I do want smart light switches and I want to control it with my phone. What's great about smart switches is that they have built-in timers and they have built-in things that no ordinary switch could do. With that in mind, then anywhere you go and you anywhere you see, you do need a neutral running to these switches. Luckily, the how luckily the homeowners beforehand had dimmer switches on a lot of these so these already had neutrals built in but probably about maybe seven or eight switches that were already existing switches we had to run new wire for the neutrals so again that's really going to be the only kind of main thing difficult thing is really like the smart switch wiring but again, we're gonna do kind of reviews and again, we're gonna look at a lot of stuff that I personally haven't found videos on 
and I personally haven't found much reviews on. Again, just super excited on this house and what, you know, the possibilities are. I mean, we're walking around, you're kind of seeing it over my shoulder. I am in selfie mode. We're in our kitchen right now. House already came with an existing extension, which apparently in this neighborhood, you cannot do this extension anymore, which is a big selling point to the house. We have our big entertainment area right here. I have big visions for this. I mean, massive room, it's huge. I just ordered a big piece for this room, which I can't wait to review. We got our formal dining room going on over here, our fireplace area. Um, but the main real kind of cool part, we go down these couple of steps, we're gonna have our custom mud room going on in here. We're gonna call it the mud room, washer and dryer. Check out the garage on this, I love it. Just put in new lights, which again, in a new video, we'll take a look at the LED lighting on this. Take a look, workshop pretty soon for all arcade builds. Again, I do wanna get into me building my own arcades. So I do have this whole workbench side area. This will be a working garage, meaning we will park cars in it. But just look at this. These LEDs that I bought from Amazon. I do, open that too much. You're gonna think like, you're gonna hear me speak a lot about Amazon, not to mention the house will be running on Alexa. You would have thought Amazon sponsored this house. Amazon, you could hook a boy up. <laughs> Again, you would think that Amazon kind of sponsored this house. Again, little work area, garage area, but the main, main, I mean, for me personally, I can't say too much for the wife. But ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the man cave slash arcade slash editor's lounge slash streaming area. This basement is gonna be nuts. Got a lot of visions for this. I mean, I'm talking, we got couches. Right along this wall, you've seen my battle station. Perfect, literally perfect. My battle station fits exactly in this pocket right here. Not too sure what's going on over here. But honestly, this is gonna be a very big main focal wall. Um, again, a lot of envisions, a lot of things for the arcade gamers that are watching this episode. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what's gonna go on there. Maybe in the comment section, you guys might be able to guess. I'm gonna be putting four, four, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm gonna be putting four cabinet types of arcades down there, four of them. Can you guys guess what four I'm gonna put? It's really three. One is like kind of like the other one, just smaller, um, but I'm gonna aim for three. Yeah, it's gonna be three main ones and then the one if I have room for it. Let me know what cabinet type you think I'm gonna be building. And again, it will be built. We are not gonna be buying Game Room Solutions arcades on that. It will be built. Two of them will be very unique, never seen on the channel. Two of them. Some of my friends know what one is. Maybe one or two people know what the other one is, but you've never seen it as far as me building it or even me modifying one. So let me know what you think that is. Again, this is like the main part of the house. Up here, again, this is where we kind of had our water damage. But up here, we got bedrooms going on. So again, just a little bit of a sneak preview as far as what's going on in this house. And again, there's just so much, so much tech in this house. That's what you're gonna hear me say a lot. So much tech. Ladies and gentlemen, Project Smart, it's in effect. <laughs>